fatty liver is just that. You know, normal liver shouldn't have any fat in it or, or very little fat. And um, when you develop a fatty liver, that's because you've got actual globules of, of fat, triglyceride, cholesterol have accumulated in your liver cells. And, um, uh, you know, and you can see that if you, for example, do a liver biopsy or you, know, you, do, you do a scan, you, you, can, you can see the fat there. And it really is, it's usually um, an accumulation of fat elsewhere in the body, you know, drives the, drives the fat in the liver. So contrary to what most people think, it's, it's often not due to alcohol. It just can be just be carrying too much weight. And just as that fat can accumulate on your bottom or around your tummy, you can get it in the liver. Well, really anybody who's overweight. It's one of the most common presentations of liver disease in my clinic. Um, but that's usually just, just the ones that the GP has noticed that they've got funny liver blood tests and, and you know, it's, it's often due to them being overweight. There's an awful lot of people out there who've got fatty livers and got, got no idea. And in many ways, you know, they, they've got no symptoms, they've got no idea there's anything wrong with the liver. Uh, and hopefully most of them will turn out just to keep a fatty liver. But the worry is that with increasing numbers of overweight and obese people in the population, we're going to see a lot more you know, late stage liver disease um, you know, over the coming decades. The problem is with the liver is it, it, it suffers in silence and you, you don't get any symptoms from it until you get to a late stage when you start presenting with the complications. And then when you present with the complications, there's actually less we can do. Yeah, so lots of people don't do enough exercise and I think that's probably as common a cause of people being overweight and having fatty livers as, as just simply eating too much. So we always encourage people to try and build some exercise into their lives. Um, you know, sometimes in busy lives, it's, people find that hard to do. People, especially people who've got sedentary jobs, you know, sit in an office all day. Um, but you don't need to do a lot of exercise. You don't need to be a marathon runner to lose weight. If you just try and fit in about sort of 30 minutes of exercise a day, is quite a good guide. And I think most people recognise, you know, what what's what's unhealthy food. So things that've got a lot of fat in, you know, very high amounts of, of sugars. Um, you know, they're not good for you. And the main reason they're not good for you is because you end up taking in too many calories without really realising that you're doing it, and then and then and the weight creeps on. Obviously, if you do have a very high-fat diet, you will tend to put your, your blood cholesterol up, and that's another contributor to fatty liver. And then, of course, there's the, all the excess calories that a very high-fat diet has.